Hello everybody, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Center. As you can tell, we are not at our normal base today. I am over at the Sap Collecting Base. There is a reason for that, though. I, When I was looking through the uh, kinds of eggs that my dinos have, I realized that I have two holes in my necessary egg collection to keep all of the uh, necessary kibbles made. So I'm going to try to tame those two creatures today. I'm just going to tame them for kibble purposes, unless I just happen to run into a high level for some of them. We'll just have to see. Uh, I did build a ladder to climb up onto this, just in case I was over here without any other creature. I didn't technically need to do this to have foundations on it, but if you don't use them, you kind of bonk your head into the top and you could end up falling off and hurting yourself. So, uh, anyway, let's go try to find these creatures. Uh, one of which is going to be a terror bird, because terror bird is the, uh, the blue kibble. The darker blue kibble. And then the other creature that we're going to go after is a... Hopefully, we'll get a pair of Euteranus. Uh, even if they're low levels, that would be totally fine. But we will want to try to get ourselves some high-level Euteranus at some point. So if we happen to luck out, we luck out. But uh, I figured if we're going to go into the Redwoods... Because uh, I figure I found that this is where you're going to get the most Terror Birds. I've run into a couple in other places, but supposed to be pretty common over here. I also have to keep an eye out for Thylas that'll jump on me from trees. Do not want to be jumped. That is not a fun time. So we're gonna head down this direction. I've only been in the Redwoods a little bit on this playthrough so far. And we don't want Pegos to steal anything. I've got stuff on me that I uh, would rather than not take. So I haven't been over here since I did the dino wipe. I did put on, or at least I told the system to run this uh, with preventing hibernation, which should be something that helps with single player dino spawns. But so far it's kind of looking like it's, uh, it is not caught up with this area over here. Or, it, or it's just not working in general, which would be unfortunate. Maybe we'll make our way down to the beach and try to work our way in so I have less chance of getting jumped while I'm just trying to figure out where these things might be. And like I said, if we we're lucky, we w I wouldn't uh, turn down any high-level terror birds or anything either. I mean, I have that really good saddle, and considering how uh, how fast terror birds can be, I would not complain about... Uh, like, I would actually contemplate using that as a uh, option for another uh, ground mount. Words are hard today. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing a few more things down here. So it's looking like it's not totally out of spawns. Oh, I'm gonna hit the water edge, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I got some Gallimimus. Saw Carno over here. I remember to bring bullets today. No repeat of what happened down in the cave. Oh, there's two Pegos there. Not even just one, there's two. Let's kill this car now. Get some flame from him. Thank you. Alright, good. Now I'll have some non cooked food to eat for a minute. Another car now, hello. Oh, that's a problem. Fun set of problems. Microraptors. <laughs> Are they still after me? Oh, they backed off. Okay. God, I hate Microraptors so much. I mean, I literally have Menace, but I put him in a cryopod, and he's just living in there forever now. <laughs> not, not forever. I'll probably bring him out if I have to. Alright, so I'm seeing some deer. Oh, there's some terror bird behind him. What level are they? There's a 115. I also need a high level female deer. If I ever see if I see one of those while I'm out here too, I may as well. Uh she's just level 50. Don't oh, okay. No, hold on. Okay, my first set of terror birds, I uh sorry about that. I didn't mean to just kill them. I reacted the wrong way, so hopefully we'll find more. Oh, that's a bear. And it's cub. 
Sorry. <laughs> what about you? Ooh, a 135 bear. And it's cub. I think I might try to focus more on getting babies after I get find the Gigantoraptor I've been hunting for a while. Ooh, there's a 135 and a 125 in there. I didn't see if they were mate boosted from each other, but uh, I do think we need to get ourselves one of these terror birds. I don't know which one it is. Alright, come on. Let's kill this one. This one dies at low level. Coincidence? I think not. So you are what? A female? You over there. Oh my gosh. I don't know where it's actually hitting. It's like much lower than where I'm aiming. Oops. Are they both female, by the way? Where'd that one go? You're not getting away from me. The other one might. Where did it go? Oh, they are both female. Okay, well that's fine. We got the higher level one down. If I'm not careful, the other one will come over and bite me, but uh, I think we'll be okay just to get this one tamed for now. I'm going to put her on the tracker. Oops, that's not what I meant. There we go. Female terror bird, great. So I'm pretty sure if I get some prime meat real quick, there should be no problem get this thing tamed. She got some from the Diplo. Very good. Okay, so double checking Dota decks, which I'm gonna try to do from now on so I don't end up wasting my time trying to tame stuff. Uh, it does say we're going to need a good amount of narcotics, so I'm going to go and try to get some before this thing wakes up. I'm going to put all the rest of the meat on it and see if I can get back here in time. Uh, odds are it won't, but either way, the prime would end up being cooked, so. Raw prime meat. Oh my gosh, you've already cooked up the rest of it, Mios. Why are you so fast at this? There's no way that thing's waking up so fast. Maybe I'll just stay here. Maybe I'll just pick a bunch of berries and keep this thing knocked out so I don't have to worry about it. Maybe that should help. I don't think it's going to be enough for the whole thing, but it should at least kind of keep it down for a minute. I'm going to have to find some more prime here in a sec, too. Is that the 135 bear? Ooh, it is. Hmm. Maybe I want to tame that bear also. Because I'm going to need one more very important ingredient for Prime. I mean, the uh, extraordinary kibble that I don't have. And that's honey. And I can actually use a bear to collect the honey for free. So maybe... Maybe we get the bear. I mean, considering we just got the, the really good saddle in that uh, drop from the jumping puzzle last time, I feel like maybe it was telling me something. So I just consulted the Dodo decks yet again. It says I could tame this uh, this dire bear in nine shots, but there is a chance, considering how much damage my crossbow does, that it might die. So I'm gonna try to minimize the amount of damage that we do here, and maybe trick it into eating something that I kill. Just maybe. Come on. Maybe one more arrow will do. As long as it doesn't kill. Oh, is there like an alpha over there or something? Oh, there's a mate pair for it. That's what that was. Oh, it's a female 130 also? Uh, she's already doomed. I can just follow the baby bear to its parent. Where did the bear go? Did it cross the water? Oh, it's in the water. Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, let's get some more prime while I can. Mm -hmm. 
If it at least makes it across the water, I can go shoot it again. Okay, load up the terror bird with the prime real fast. Did it cross the water? Or did it come back? Where is our bear friend? I just don't want to end up killing it. Uh-oh. Did it get knocked out in the water? Is it in there? Uh, tames. Oh, tames in progress. Okay, no, it's not out. knocked out in the water. Okay. I just don't see it. I just see the baby, which is in the water. I thought maybe it just got knocked out and drowned in there. Hello? Adult bear? Where did you go? I guess there's one way we can tell if this, uh, if the parent's still alive. Nope, it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the bear with me. We at least have, you know, a baby bear. It's still fine. That does, that does the job. And I'm gonna get attacked if I don't go now. So it probably got eaten by piranhas or something in the water. That's crazy. Also, I just noticed that my crossbow's not actually using any ammo, and that's probably because I was flying around testing stuff before this recording, so I'm just gonna, um... I'm gonna relog real quick and throw away, like, 20 arrows. And 20 arrows gone. Okay. I am a man of integrity. I will not be... I will not cheat. So we'll get that, we'll let this one get all tamed up, and we'll see if we can find a male for him. A 150 Gallimimus? I don't think I have everything I need to tame a ga uh, 150 galley right now. But I'll have to try to keep that in mind. Assuming this thing survives, just kind of right up next to this river. Interesting. Sweet. Your name is Tart. You are Tart the Terror Bird, and you are now our friend. Join us. Now off to find you a mate. I'm going to put all this onto Mios. Odds are he's going to cook it all by the next time we find something, but it's fine. Not bad to have a uh, fun little food cooker on the go. I need to kind of be ready to swap to foot mode if I get attacked by another freaking micro raptor. Ooh, hello. 80. I would love... I want some of those Gigantopithecus. I did bring it up before, but... I think... That would just be so cool to have a couple of them at the base. We'll take care of any low levels that are just hanging out around here. And keep an eye out for a good pair. Oh yeah, I need to throw away like half the bolas too. Bye. What? Oh, criminy. I didn't do the thing. I attacked my target, thanks. Thank you, Mios. I made a mistake and I, you know, wasn't able to do the thing where swapping you to my shoulder quick enough. So I'm pretty sure there is an artifact out here somewhere, but I have no idea even where to start looking for that. I'm just trying to focus on the task at hand for now. Also look over this beautiful waterfall. It's amazing. Okay, these guys all die. They're all too low level. Ooh, did it pull it off? I saw that. I saw that coming. You little monster. There's two of you. That worked out really well, actually. I was really not sure how that was going to go. But now I'm carrying too much. Because Mios has a lot on him. Nope. Opposite of helpful. Uh uh. Oh my goodness. Okay. God, dude. They are relentless. And. Oh my god! Endless. <laughs> okay. I just didn't know what's down there. I mean, it looks like it would have been okay. And here we go. Really, they like to time it so they're coming down at the 
like inopportune moments, honestly. Is that both of them and they just have their baby there? God, man. Leave me alone. That fire is so blinding every single time I use it. Alright, I think I'm going to kind of head out of the Redwoods for now. Because uh, exploring the Redwoods in the dark like this is definitely, you know, next to pointless. So let's get out of here. I think I have a little bit more luck trying to find some Mutyrannus at this point. Because at that point, you really just got to hear them. And uh, hope that they're kind of a low level for the kibble ones. And if there is a high level one, we'll figure that out when the time comes. But uh, I do think we're going to get out of here. Okay, we've got our sap farm. I don't know if terror birds can spawn here. I think this is kind of an interesting middle ground between the uh, the cold spawns and stuff. Ooh, is that an alpha carno right next to the base? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay, let's switch these arrows to trank arrows. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a couple low levels of Uteranus. And then we'll try again in the morning to look for a male terror bird that's higher than the 135. So the main thing to be concerned about with the Uteranus is being uh, fear roared on your creature. I actually don't know how susceptible the pyromanes are, but I guess we're going to find out. I'm, uh, I'm hoping we can find ourselves a good terror bird. Or even better, a Giganto Raptor in between stuff that, uh, you know, I want to I wanna go down and explore. I know there's an area under the snow area. That, like, there's a, there's a cool castle down there, and there's, a, there's an artifact that I'm definitely going to need. So I want to, I wanna, like, when I go down there, I want to make sure I'm on a different creature. Like, yes, Mios would be very helpful, but I, I don't want to end up using him for every cave. Which, I have a feeling... If I really wanted to, I could do every artifact, excluding the ones deep under the water, um, with Mios. I did want to test, now that we've done the, uh, now that I did the jumping puzzle by myself, I kind of want to see, just, because I'm pretty sure these guys can walk on lava, so I could always just have him with me, and we could just jump up onto the higher ledge, get the treasure right away. Might be a little bit broken, but again, single player. If I get the thing, I wouldn't mind putting it together and be good for my my boss fights. Well, apparently they can spawn anywhere, pretty much, in this area. So I'm going to kind of hop down to this lower bit, maybe kind of go around towards the green obelisk from here. Maybe see if I can find one or two. Hopefully two. If they're only level five, I honestly don't care. That would do just fine for me today. That being said, our gods, if you wouldn't mind giving me a 150 pair, that would work too. Save me the hassle of looking for them later. I know that sound. It's a 105. That should be relatively doable. If I can lure the Carnos away from it, and then we can start uh, taking care of it, that would be great too. It's already attacking something. Mammoth. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to dink it. Wolf. I got other things going on right now. Okay, so it turns out, yeah, one roar is enough to scare off the pyramid. I have learned something today. All right, you Tyrannus. I shot you once. Looks like it killed the mammoth or something. I think the Carnos are done. No, they're not. Run. I <laughs> don't want to... Uh, I don't want to end up being pushed away again. Not so close into doing this. Not so early into it anyway. Whoops! That was a weird jump. They slid off a rock or something. I normally would try to trap these guys, by the way. I just kind of feel like it's more fun to just be on foot, if I can help it. It's kind of a cool... It's kind of a cool thing of, like, some creatures being able to... Oh, there we go. Now we're about to take some free hits. 
I wonder. Could I? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> that's that's actually probably really dumb. Because now I'm just gonna get bit by this thing. But that is also good to know. Kinda helps to kinda prevent going too far. You're gonna go down today. And I'm gonna take you home, and you're gonna help me make kibble. That is your existence now. You'll not escape from me and Mios. You truly will not. Going down? Now you go down. Yeah. Perfect. Was this the male or female? Female. Nice. I mean, ultimately, if we don't find males today, there is a chance that they'll just lay eggs already. They work a lot better if they do have a male, though. Especially when you can just have them breed and you can just take their egg for that. Okay. I can't afford to have anything attack that right now. So I'm going to kill both of you and take your prime meats. Ooh, a treasure map. I am a fan of that. Please give me that, too. Ooh, and it's Ascendant treasure map. That makes me feel happy. Thank you so much. It was definitely worth coming after you today. Alright. You, Tyrannus. Stuck in the rock. Nothing else is going to attack me if I hop down right now, yeah? Alright. No! Stupid dumbass. <laughs> it's okay. It's just for kibble. Just don't... Mios, we need to have a chat. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't have turned that on. I was going to test it out, but now I regret it. <laughs> I regret that really badly. Okay, well, let's find another one. Hopefully lower level. I'm going to head over this direction a little more. Really looking out for those uh, purple or yellow rings that they make appear with their roar. It's the easiest way to find them, honestly, if you don't hear their roar right away. Oh, I heard another roar this way. I just heard something thud down. Fingers crossed low, because I just used up a lot of arrows on one that Mio's just roasted without my permission. Hello? Oh, it's that way. I hear it. Don't see it. Oh, there are the rings. It's the same level. I mean, I know I have enough for that. <laughs> and I will. I think I'll do it. We'll go for it. Let's just get these Carnos killed, though. Uh, he's a great creature for destroying stuff. And yes, I can shoot off of his back. But if you hit the creature that you want to tame, that thing's going to take a lot of damage because of the fire just continually going. Oh, I heard that. Still around, looks like. If you eat another lower level creature, you'll get... You'll, uh, gain yourself some health back. That would be good, right? Oh, this is a male Euteranus. Adam Stuck. Uh, I'm not attacking anymore, but, um... I'm getting hit really hard right now. Yikes. This is the opposite of a good time. Alright, now we just pull the flame in. Thanks. Primony, dude. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Are we going to lose Mios? I'm not going to let us lose the Mios. Sorry. <laughs> That's not happening. Now I can do this. Run! Run, Mios, run. Oh my god. Well, I mean... Good lord, man. That was rough. And now you have seen firsthand just how powerful the Euteranus can be. It's not really that it's the Euteranus. 
It's the army that the Uteranus controls. Well, so far, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like this is going too well. I accidentally killed the one that I was trying to tame because Mio's uh, flame power was on. <laughs> and we also almost just lost him because I got pinned down by all those Karnos while, I, while he was fear roared. But... I think we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna just hold on to the fact that we did find an Ascendant treasure map. And that's gonna be something amazing. I can I can feel it. I just know it's gonna be good. So after our close call, I've just kind of been running around and trying to get some more health back on Mios. Also keeping an eye out for another Uteranus. I haven't actually heard or seen any since that last encounter also. It gets so green all of a sudden. I mean, I, like, we're kind of close-ish to the green obelisk, but it's not that close. It shouldn't be glowing that far. So we've pretty much done a whole lap. Well, I guess I didn't go all the way up there. I didn't go to the other mountain. I did turn around before that. Oh, I heard another one. That's nearby. That's just over here. Where exactly is that roar? Oh, hello. Did that say 125? Yeah. Oh, and it's got a baby, though. Oh, if I can successfully tame this one, not kill it because of the fire, I could take its baby, and if the baby's a male, too, we'll have our full kibble. Oh, uh, it is a male. Ooh. We'll have our kibble dinos. Not quite high enough for the uh, levels, like, actually fighting, is in my opinion, unless they have really good stats, but... That is, that is yet to be seen. So I need to get these Carnos taken care of, and I'll try to get this Uteranus tamed. Okay, so they are aware of me. Uh-oh. Way too aware of me. They've already scared Mios. Just need to try to have some control over him for a minute. Six more seconds. Can't get pinned down. We're literally stuck on a Rhino right now. And go. Whoop! Alright, cool. Car knows they're after me right now. As long as we just take care of the car nose. The Uteranus. Is actually looking really hurt. Uh, that's not good. I don't want the wolves to kill this thing. I can take the baby, but... Ah. Would you just eat something, please? Wolf, needs, you need to knock it off. You're gonna kill the Uteranus. Oh no. We can secure the baby. At least we'll have one. But we'll still need the female. It's kind of the important part. Oh, eat, eat that thing. Eat it. Oh, okay, good. That's that's good. I was worried he was going to die. The Uteranus itself shouldn't be a major problem for me. It doesn't have its army, so I should be fine. Ish. <laughs> Where'd it go? There's its baby. And there it is. Okay, what's with the aim, man? I don't know, I just lured like a bunch of wolves and stuff to this Uteranus. And it scared me away again. Cool. But I bit them all, so they all should be taking the fire damage over time. This thing is giving me actual runaround right now. And I don't appreciate it. I killed it. Cool. Where is its baby? Unless they killed its baby also. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> that 
That just got killed as well as his baby got killed. I don't know what is happening with this area. Unless that's the baby there. Was that the baby? I thought I saw something in the in the bushes here. Oh yeah, it's the baby. You know what? I will take you. We have one. I'm going to need to be off of Mios though. He's carrying a lot of stuff. Wait, hold on. Mios, don't block me, dumbass. Come with me. You are very fast, little dude. Very fast. Hold on. Join me. <laughs> oh, God. That was a huge ordeal. So now we just need a female, and then we'll have ourselves a pair for that. We've got one of each one. Uh, the one that we have for the for the terror birds will help us out. But this little guy is really only going to help us out after he grows up. So we're going to have to go back out and search for some more. Starting to think it would have been a better idea to bring a trap. Not for my safety, but for theirs. Everything just keeps killing them. Is that a group up there with the Uteranus involved? I think so. There's also an Alpha Carno, a 120, that's part of their group. Where is the, uh... Oh, no, I didn't get to see what level that was. I want to know. For science, it's a 70. I will take it if it doesn't die. <laughs> we just got to let Mios kind of run amok for a minute here. Let's not lure anything to me, actually, if we can help it. It's got an Alpha Carno on its team, so it may be difficult to separate from them. I gotta build up my flame. If we build up the flame and we go in and we attack the Carno, we can separate him from the Alla, I the um Uteranus. You're alone, let's do this. You 95 with the 85 damage to me. Okay, we're gonna move over here because I think I saw the Uteranus turn toward us. It's taking some serious fire damage right now. We just don't want that thing to scare her, the fear roar us while we're doing this. Built up that fire damage. Separated even more from them. Because it's following. It wants to be part of it, it looks like. But this alpha's bloody. And unlike the Thylacolio's bleed, it looks like the fire actually does help for the creature that inflicted the pain. Are you running? Don't be running from me. Alright, we're gonna back up for a minute just because I'm taking a lot of damage. There we go. Alpha Carno down. Main problem solved. So for now, we're really hurt. Did you grab anything fun from that, by the way? Looks like we've got a lot of gear, but I don't think we got like another treasure map or anything. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's try to kill all the other creatures still that are around this thing. It needs to stop moving, though. That, that's honestly what needs to happen. Gosh, why are they pulling so many other things in here? Ah, oh, Mios got scared again, dude. Come on. Okay. Time to run for a minute. Ugh, Mios, no. I'm gonna swap this ammo real quick. It's after me, I know it. It's trying to kill something else on the other side of this rock.
Just keep on hitting it and I'll try to get it knocked out. If it's focused on something else, it's totally fine. Run. Let's try not to get fear roared again. It ends up throwing everything off track. And there we go. Mios. I don't know why I gotta be like that, bro. <laughs> Just keep running. That's an awful spot. I don't know why you would do this to us. Hop. Cool. Now, let's just do better and actually hit it. Oh no, I hit it with flames. It's it's gonna die. Like I can tell you that right now. It's not even taking that much damage from it, but it's gonna keep going a lot longer than it has to. Oh, no, nope, it stopped. I think we might have this. Don't speak too soon, though. We're gonna have to take care of this car, no first thing. Unless it already left. Did we do it? Do we actually have this thing separated from every other creature? Except for the other Uteranus right over there. Ha. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, do I have a lot of Prime on me? I do, actually. Uh, let's see. Raw. Prime me. I have a lot on me. Holy crap. Uh, let's move on. Are you attacking something right now, Mios? Don't you dare do that. Do not dare. Taming in progress. That's... I keep doing that. That is all... The things that have happened. Oh, that took a long time to get that taken care of. A lot longer than I would have ever imagined that that would have done. And this Carno is still just chilling. Luckily, it didn't actually go for me. We are, we are very hurt on Mios right now. Let's get our flames back from this guy. Oh. God. Did I just boost again? I did. So in the pursuit of Kibble, just Kibble Tames, not even the Tames, we have almost lost Mios twice today. I can't believe that. That's actually insane. Okay, so one Prime brought us 9%, even at a level 70. So I've got enough Prime on us right now to get this tamed, but there is still that baby Carno I saw just kind of sitting over there, so I'll take care of that happiness if we need to. But I've got a level on me. I'm going to add it to Fortitude. I'm going to get my Fortitude to 30, and then we're going to add a couple more things. Ooh, this might be fun. I'll definitely need to do some sort of preparation to get, like, a, a creature that's ready to be grabbed and held on for a while. Maybe a turtle? That'd probably be a good choice. And then while it's being eaten I can swim up and feed it but that will take a while to get done but I haven't actually tamed one of those yet in ascended so that would be kind of cool how long does the prime on this guy have whoa I told you to be passive you ass Mios, if you kill another one, I I swear. Like, I'm glad we're not worried about the effectiveness here. But dude, I thought I told you to be passive. Why? <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, looking like she just got one more feed. And then we should be good to go. It's actually been pretty tame, no pun intended on that, ever since uh, I knocked her out. No one's really come around, so we should be good. We might finally have the kibble tame that we've been after all day. Okay, well, I guess it needs the one more because of that horrible 
weird 100% glitch thing, but we're pretty much good. And that male is still just looming over the corner. Hello. <laughs> I'm not really trying to tame... Oh, thank God. Alright, I'm going to name you Kib Female because you're literally just for kibble. All this work and all this trouble to get the highest year of kibble. Thank you so much. Was this my bag or another bag? Oh, a rhino bag. Okay, the only thing we gotta do now is we need to go and get this other terror bird, and then we'll go check what treasure we got today, and that should probably round us out. I just realized we're gonna get back over to the redwoods, and it's going to turn nighttime again. <laughs> so the opposite of what we want, which was to come here for nighttime, and then go back over there for daytime. I just spent a lot more time over here than I had ever thought that I would need to to get a Uteranus knocked out and tamed. Okay, well it took a forever and a day to get back over here. Well, we've made it on to our base yet again. I think I'm going to try to drop off some stuff because Mios is just very heavy and I don't know what that's about. I'm also going to have this pull more sap wall over here because uh, that's kind of the whole point of this box. Let's go find us a male terror bird. Fingers crossed that we come down the corner and there's like a 150 or a 145 just staring us right in the face. Did just get a Paraceratherium blueprint as well. Should keep an eye out for one of those as well. I think that would be interesting. Make a little mobile base on them. So we're going into the Redwoods at about the same time that I was trying to uh, get here the last time. And um, I don't know how this is going to go. Fingers crossed. I don't want to be here long. I'd rather just get this male knocked out immediately and then uh, get out of here. Drop. It's a white drop. Not too concerned about that. Now that we left and come back, though, I wonder if a good amount of things have respawned in that area that we cleared out a bunch of things. Specifically all of those horrible Microraptors. Redwood stresses me out. <laughs> That's <laughs> because there's always the chance I'm going to get jumped. Whether it's by a Microraptor, or a Thyla, or both. Always concerning. There's such a big area for it over here, too. Okay, so we're coming up on the spot we were at last time. Something's on me. Oh, wow, that's a lot of them. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, I'm going to make sure we keep you still on passive because of what happened last time. Across the river, there's some. There's a terror bird right there. No whammies, terror bird. Really? Screw up, Pega. You can't jump and steal something if I jump at you right away first. That is a male 140. That is what we're after. Great, and one of those, and the other one's a female. But I don't know which was which. Where did they go? Where did they run off to? There they are. Okay, the female is only 25. And the female is the black one. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll get our opportunity. I'm going to try to switch ammo. I'll try to shoot it. So that if I, if I freaking miss, they won't burn to death. Because of Mios. <laughs> and his crazy powers. There we go. That takes care of that. Now we switch back to these. And I'm pretty sure that 16 should be more than enough to knock out this terror bird. Wherever he ran off to. Hello? He's there on the beach trying to fight a deer. Come after me. Hello? Sir? Sir, I need you to focus on me for a minute. Thank you. This way. And you're mine, thanks. Boop. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. There we go. Only three shots necessary with the five seconds in between. 
I know I was saying to wait for that thing to go away, but if they're in a bola, I don't want to risk it. So I'll just give it five seconds, five sped up seconds even. Because uh, you never know if that's actually going to be accurate. But let's feed this guy some prime and start collecting narco berries because they will definitely need it. I shouldn't have too much to be concerned about around this guy over here, but as you probably have noticed, I brought my tools now. So my uh, my intention for that is I think I am going to build something around him since he's a higher level and there are Microraptors right here. I don't want him to get bit. This one I don't want to get ruined on its effectiveness. So I never I never use the spike walls. But I think I might need to start because that's a great way to keep stuff defended. I had seen in the past that they weren't working perfectly, but uh, maybe they're better now. I don't know. So we'll just place them around this guy so that Microraptor shouldn't come up and do anything to it. Yeah, I tell you, of all the things that they added to this version of the game, the ability to pick stuff up at any point is very helpful. I don't think it's going to be enough to close it all the way, but it'll probably be closed enough that I don't have to worry about anything getting in here. So we'll leave that. That being said, is that a Microraptor right there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, should I just make one more? Just close the thing all the way up? Okay, closed up. He's protected. Well, so much for them not attacking me while I didn't have a mount. Considering I've been standing out here this whole time and this is the only time it's attacked me though, I feel like it's, uh, it's a lot better than if I was on something. I would have been attacked immediately. Oh, there we are. We've got our terror bird all tamed up. And uh, we just had this Gallimimus kind of circling us this entire time. I've been very tempted because it is the 150. But let me just pick up all these walls. This guy shouldn't be getting hit by him or anything. Very good. What level did you come out as? 208. Nice. I will take that very happily. Uh, maybe we'll come up with a name later when we can act actually see you fully. Let's get you back home, though. All right, so we have actually... Sorry, did you have anything? It was just the Prime. Okay, I don't know why I needed to check that. <sighs> well, it has taken a long time, but we do finally have all of the tames that we were coming over here for, even the one that I had only slightly thought about, and that ended up working out in our favor. It took a long time to get that done, though, because of all the freaking complications and everything getting in the way. Well, let's get back to base, like actually going home. I wonder if Terry can even carry us, actually, with Mios being as heavy as we are. We may have to leave more stuff at the other base. The, uh, sap farm. Okay, cool. It does look like Terry can handle it. Oh, with all those guys secured, let's head on back to base. And I'll explain to you guys why exactly I'm after these guys and what kibbles these particular dino eggs will do for us. And we are back safe and sound at the base. Finally, with all of our new creatures in tow, and Mios, you are in trouble. You stay over there. <laughs> you helped a lot, but you also caused a lot of problems. So the reason that we had to go tame those creatures today is uh, when you go in here and you check in the kibbles, there's the six different tiers of kibble. Each one is kind of meant for specific dinos, and each one needs a specific dino egg. The uh, lowest tier is the basic, which is covered by our parasaurs. Next tier is the simple kibble, which is actually covered by both the oviraptors and the pteranodons. Uh, I actually didn't have any reliable source of regular kibble eggs, so that's where the terror birds come in. The superior kibble is covered by the moss chops and the aloes. The exceptional kibble is covered by the rexes. And then now with the Uteranus, they cover the extraordinary kibble. The only thing that I don't have easily read easily available to me is that giant bee honey that we have here for this extraordinary kibble but we'll go and do that some other time using our bear friend here so it's all very very helpful and kind of necessary stuff to get a lot of these i could have done any creature in the uh uh the blue kibble tier for the same as the as the terror birds 
But since I have this saddle in here, and I'm sure you've probably seen it already if you've been watching, 336%. If I want to, I want to kind of breed up a, a strong terror bird, and I think you can shoot them off the back of those. So we'll be able to bring them around instead of using Mios all the time. So we'll at least have somewhat of a backup option, or maybe the main option, who knows. I'll toss out all these new creatures at some other point. For now, I'm just going to place them away so nothing can happen to them in case I die out there. But we're going to go and find out what this treasure map is. And that should be everything we have time for. So this map is going to take us back that direction. Of course it is. I'm assuming that is... Is that up on the... Yeah, it's in the center of this island over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just to kind of track it, even when I'm on the back of one of my creatures, I'm going to place a rally point. And then we're going to fly over there on Terry. And we'll dig it up and we'll see what kind of treasure we get today. The Ark Gods have decided to cry at this moment because they're they're going to be so sad that they're missing out on such good treasure, right? That's why. That's the only reason that they would do that, correct? All right, we are right at the point. I'm hoping we get something good. This will just be a huge letdown if not. Come on, Ascendant. Okay, not nearly as good there, but that Mosasaur saddle? Oh my god. God, okay, so I don't ever normally tame any Moses, but this will give me something to work for. And it disappeared <laughs> because I grabbed everything out of it. That's actually insane. That requires so many resources. Uh, but uh, I definitely, definitely give me something to look forward to in the ocean at some point. Holy crap. Well, despite all the crazy things that happened today while trying to just tame a couple of creatures, I feel like we got a lot done today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have anything to bring up about this series or any of the others, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!